All right, so as you guys can tell, it's windy, it's snowing, it's cold, and it's 4.08 right now, and the Etha has been outside since 2.30. It's 20 to 19 degrees outside right now, uh, a little bit under that with the wind. I've had the Etha sitting outside, and because I've been touching it and moving it, I haven't touched it for about an hour, but when I first put it out here, some snow melted on it, snow is in the feed neck, the barrel, all, all, all over the place. It's super cold, it's windy, it's snowing. This Michigan weather is the true test for the Etha 2. Yesterday was 45 degrees, today it's supposed to get down to 15 degrees. Less than 24 hours, that is a huge temperature difference in 24 hours. That's what we normally go through here in Michigan. So, with that being said, there is no lube on this gun at all. As you can see, there's snow inside of the ASA. Everything is frozen solid. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to, there's dirt on the inside of this. Now what I did is I have a pod of Velcan Redemption inside the, uh, the R2. I brought out some Allen keys just in case. Um, I'm gonna have to use them to dig out all this ice and snow that's gummed up in here. So I'm literally picking out dirt snow <laughs> that's a lot of dirt dirt snow I mean this is just absolutely nasty I'll probably ruin my tank threads doing this for you guys but this is gonna be the true test for the Etha 2 not even is it just it's cold outside just because there was no snow yesterday and there's snow today because of the weather change because it's very very drastic like I said it's muddy so when I threw this I literally if you guys followed us on snapchat I threw it out in the yard so let's see if it airs up and holds air without any lube in it I'm definitely grinding a bunch of shit into that ASA Airs up, holds air. Let's see if the board turns on. Board is on. It dry fires, no lube again. We have some Vulcan Redemption in this. Just pretend I have a mask on. Safety's always first. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna turn the eyes back on. Oh, that paint is all over the place. Didn't miss a beat. All right, let's go to another pod. We have some uh, we have some event Empire Marbleizer right here, so some little stuff. So we just shot some uh, Vulcan through there, maybe one barrel break. It, I didn't see anything break, but I saw it break in the air. The barrel is literally frozen. It has ice on it. Fingers are frozen. So obviously this sucker can withstand the cold. I think that's all the paint. So uh, let's dry fire it again. So obviously it can handle working without any lube and no and basically zero zero degrees. Now obviously it can shoot paintballs in the cold without any lube, but can it shoot paintballs while the gun is actually frozen? So like I said, we don't really, uh, anyone can take a box, anyone can buy an Etha 2 and unbox it and show you what comes in the box, but you're not going to get anyone that's going to buy a new Etha 2 and just start pouring water into it. Let's turn on the board, board is on, eyes off, shooting water out of it. 
So I'm going to fill this sucker up with water. It's going to start leaking. I'm just shooting water right now. It's so cold that it's that the water at the end of the barrel is just turning to I mean you can see it's basically freezing in midair. still hasn't skipped a beat so because of that I have another bottle of water and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the gun up I'm gonna tilt it back and I'm gonna pour water down the barrel so it sits inside of the bolt because it's so cold out here it's gonna freeze I mean there, there's no way about it it is based there's gonna be water it's gonna be a water soaked bolt these o-rings are gonna be taking an absolute beating there's no lube on it because we came outside in the cold from the warm inside all those o-rings that are swelled to normal room temperature are going to shrink outside here in this cold weather which normally that's going to be tolerance issues for a lot of guns as the o-rings as it gets colder o-rings like to shrink up a little bit when it gets hotter they swell that's why you don't have a ton of leaking issues in the summertime or in warmer climates during the winter time o-rings shrink up you get leaks all over the place depending upon what you know where you're at so what I'm going to do is let's try to freeze this gamma core. The bolt, the, the board is still going. Uh, and it, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so the board is still going. You can see it's brand new. There's still, I still have all the original tags out of here. So the only paint that I've actually shot out of it was just the two pods on my doorstep that I did on Facebook Live. So let's set this gun up and let's pour water down it and try to get it to freeze. So this is the true test right here for the Planet Eclipse Gamma Core. Still outside, still snowing. Just gonna pour water right down the, you can see it's coming out of the feed neck, so, and it's actually coming out of the back cap a little bit. So let's just pour some more water down it. I can't pour too fast or else it just all leaks out of the feed neck. I'm trying to get as much to the bolt as I possibly can. Still a little bit coming out of the feed neck. Let's just get the gun nice and wet, nice and frozen here. So I'll try to freeze up this trigger, pour water all over it. Uh, it's leaking a little bit now out of the ASA. Let me turn off the ASA. I don't wanna, this is the uh, only tank that I have, so if I run out of air, then I'm kinda screwed. Like I said, tags are still on it. This is what this is uh, water in below freezing temperatures. Right now it is. I'll show you my, my I'll show you my phone. Right now it is 4:22. Let me flip the camera around. My phone screen right now says 4:22. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back at about 4:45, 4:50. We're gonna see if this thing still shoots. So I have not touched the ether since I set it over there. It is 444 going on 445. Etha is still sitting over there. Let me focus it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the ca original camera spot. I'm doing this without any edits because I want this to be as raw and as real as possible. Let me uh, flip the camera screen real quick. I'm doing this without a camera guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ether. Like I said, I have not touched the ether since I poured water down it. It is currently degassed. Here's the ether. The trigger is frozen. Let me see if the board still turns on. The LED light has come on. Let me see if I can air it up. Air's up. Holy shit. Let's put the R2 back on it. I have a full R2 here with 260 rounds. 
As you can see, this hopper is filled up to the max. I have some more marbleizer in here. You open it up, so you can see all the way up to the top. A full 260. Let's see if this thing will die. Oh, I need to turn the hopper back on, the eyes off. Eyes are off, let me pull the trigger for you. Eyes are off. Hopper's on. The gun is significantly louder, I believe. Either that or I'm running out of air. I'm, I'm about at a thousand PSI, under a thousand. Balls have not dropped off yet, so I don't have any first shot drop off. So I'm gonna sit here and wait. No drop off, no bolt stick. It's still under 20 degrees, the wind is still blowing. It's still snowing outside. I just dumped two bottles of water into this thing. I shot a bottle out of it and sat there and let it freeze. This whole thing is currently iced over. I have ice on the trigger. This grip frame is all iced up. There's probably ice all along inside of the barrel. The porting is completely full of ice. That might be why it's a little bit louder because it's all filled with ice. The whole back cap looks like it's frozen because water was coming out of it and the feed neck has an ice accumulation just because of the sheer fact that water was coming out of it. So this gun is pretty much frozen. There's, there's, uh, there's, there's ice all over this thing. As you guys can see in here, there's still no bolt stick or dropping off. This is amazing. So that Planet Eclipse reliability does come with a $400 gun. To be honest, I own a Geo. I, I do own a Geo. I do own a Geo with an IV core, and I, I honestly don't think I would do that to my gut to my Geo. So I would love to do a test with the CSR. Um, this I'd love to do the same test with the CSR or a Geo, but like I said, I really don't want to be dumping dumping water down my down my geo this time of year my hands are literally frozen now I'm starting run to run out of air but I still don't have any bolt stick or drop off so I shot a full uh, two pods about over two pods through it originally I shot two pods on my porch on the original unboxing video and I shot a full 260 a full, I'm almost at my a hopper and I have another hopper sitting here without any lube from the factory, brand new, I stripped the I stripped the lube right off of it, brand new from the factory, I've not touched any dwell settings, this thing is completely bone stock, I've not done anything but taken it out of the box and you can see it still has the stickers on it, uh, I just shot up in the air. No bolt sticker drop off. So. See if we can get another pod through it. This is uh, the second pod. So this, this makes pod two before, so that's pod two and a 260 fill after freezing it. So a full 260 and two pods. Let's see if we can get the second pod through without any issues. Now I'm running out of air. A little bit of puttering. And I think that's about all she wrote. Now I'm really starting to drop off. And it, it literally took the tank to absolutely zero. Let me see if I can focus. So it, it took the tank literally all the way to zero before it actually started dropping off. So it shot deep into that tank. This is a 77 SL. Let's see if I can get a couple more on here. No, that's all she wrote. Tank is empty. So, I have to say that this is incredible. For a $400 gun, 
for a four hundred dollar gun to sit out here in the snow. My hands, I are really. I mean, my hands are freezing. This gun is literally frozen. I'm holding an ice cube right now. I poured water down this thing, froze it. I've I've had it outside since 2:30. It has not gone in inside since 2:30. And right now, let me pull my phone out. And this is cold Michigan weather. Where did I put my phone? It is 4:51 p.m. right now. So. Out of the box, that's that's amazing. This is absolutely incredible. So I, we never got to do this with the Planet Eclipse G-Tech. So to get a gun that has the reliability, to get a spool valve gun to shoot out here, factory settings straight out of the box after freezing it, a spool valve gun, that is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. Anyone can buy one of these and take this out of the box and review it. This is absolute. This this blows my app. This blows my mind for something brand new out of the box. I'm just gonna run over a couple features. If you guys want to see me pulling this out of the box brand new, I did a live Facebook stream. It's rough. I did it with one hand. But if you guys want to see me unbox the gun brand new and take the first shots that that, that this G Tech has ever seen, link is down in the description to our Facebook page. You guys can check out that live video. I compare it to a couple of other guns. I compare it to a Proto Rise, I compare it to the Defy D3S. Those are the two guns that I had sitting around and in this gun's price point. Go ahead and take a look at that video on the Facebook page. Overall, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm absolutely impressed that this thing has no lube, outside in the cold, going from the inside warm, going from a 70 degree house outside without any lube, without the O-ring shrinking, shrinking to where it's gonna leak. So this thing did not leak at all. As you guys heard, there was no leaks. I mean, that, that's just, I'm very, very impressed and I cannot wait to get this gun out onto the field. So like I said, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and comment if you guys have any, any questions or anything. You guys can also hit us up on the, the Team Insanity Facebook page. So I'm, um, oh I just also noticed that there's LEDs on both sides of the gun. That's kind of cool. And they're actually positioned so you can actually sit there and look at it. So overall, I can't wait. I can't wait. The, Etha, the original Etha for me was a fail. This gun is stupid ugly, but if I think I can get past the ugliness. So, uh, thanks for watching. Alright, let's take out the bolt after shooting it. Let me set the G-Tech down. Oops. As you can see, it is covered in water. No lube still. Get the inside condensation. No lube. And the bolt is just wet. All right, little update. It's been about 10 minutes since I pulled out the bolt. I am currently holding down the board button. It turned on by itself. Ice and everything still work. But it won't turn off. take out this battery it's how easy it is to get the battery out so if I can turn it back off nope so it won't turn off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing dry off So I'm going to take the battery out completely, let it dry off, and come back in a couple hours and see what happens. Alright, so it is over 24 hours later. Let this bad boy sit out. So what I'm going to do 
battery. This is uh, basically the next night. It's in. Let me lock this bad boy down. Sorry about all the toys in the background. That's my nephews. I don't know. Uh, I mean, every now and then I like to play with Legos and whatever. Uh oh. That ain't good. Battery is in the right way. Put the battery to my tongue and it is definitely... Let me flip the battery even though I'm pretty sure that was in the right way. Let me see if it turns off. It is off. So if you freeze your ether, there it is, saying that it's not reading anything. So if you freeze your ether, solenoid still clacks. Obviously it still airs up. So we are all good in the hood. Etha 2, ugliest paintball gun in the paint in the market at the moment. Thanks for watching.